The believers, uh, I think from what I'm hearing, I think they would probably um, have a more uh, interesting presentation. So I think they are um, first and foremost focusing on what would teenage girls you know, what would resonate with teenage girls and that's important because it doesn't matter what your message is, it's going to be lost if, if you know, the medium of the message is, um, is not relevant and is not personalised to the audience. Alicia seemed to be sort of pulling together the ideas that the boys were, were generating and providing structure for their ideas which I think is very important. When there are different ideas and different personalities in a team there does need to be somebody who's consolidating and sort of synthesizing the ideas and creating one, one uh, message. And I think Alicia was doing that very nicely. Um, Karabu seemed to be quite uh, serious about the task, maybe less, um, having less fun with it than the others. Um, whereas Andre seemed to, he's apparently going to be Justin Bieber and I think <laughs> the role suits him very well. He seemed to, to be very pleased with his, um, with his title. So um, between Karabu and Andre, I think they were, um, they might have, there may have been some kind of, you know, um, disagreement, but I feel as if Alicia kind of mediated uh, between those two strong personalities. And um, I would personally say that Alicia would have my vote in the Believers group. I've engaged with the group already. I've got an excellent response from them. And I hope that pr doing our presentation, we will be sure to win. My strategy for WIN is women in empowerment. Being a girl's school, I know exactly how to tackle this. Being a girl in grade 9, I knew where I was heading. I wanted to study consumer psychology. However, there was no mention regarding the insurance industry at that stage in my life. I would have loved somebody to educate me more regarding insurance and the facets available. At this stage in my life, at this career time, it's extremely fun for me to be in the insurance industry. The satisfaction I get is by applying myself to the different facets of insurance and also insurance is a fun sector to be in. My advice to girls out there is educate yourself, be firm in what you believe in and make a mark in wherever you go. Yeah, the team's, team's working well today. Our strategy for today, because we are dealing with a, a all-girls school, is that um, Alicia Alicia will, will lead, lead from the front and the, and the guys will play a supporting role. Being here to, to speak to young, young students about getting into the insurance industry, I think, I think it's, a, it's an awesome idea. I, I got into the industry by default and I think that's, that's the case amongst most and, and across most of the industry. So I think this, this would be a, a, nice, a nice way of introducing the industry to, to our youth so that we can get more and more youth and, and young people interested in the industry and, and joining the industry going forward. My message today is in the insurance industry is a, a fantastic opportunity for, for, for youngsters. It's an energetic in industry and, it's, and it's, it's, it's a good opportunity to, to have a, a long and prosperous career. My advice is um, do, well, do, well in, do well at school, do well with your studies, make sure that your results are, are good, get, in, get into university or college, for, uh, study further get some tertiary education and then get, get into the insurance industry as, as soon as possible. The advice that I have for young girls in the insurance industry is that there's a place for each and every one of them in the insurance industry. That the insurance industry is looking for uh, young women to come into the industry to come and uh, help us to, to, to change it and take it forward. There are girls who want to be actuaries, who want to be engineers, who want to be accountants and I am, I am convinced and I'm certain that we'll be able to assist them to, to, to realize that there's space in this industry for them. For me to get into the industry, uh, I basically made sure that I was guided by my father who was a risk manager and uh, I, I, I chose my subjects well and I did maths, I did uh, physics, I did accounting and that basically opened the doors for me to go and study a BCom degree but I, I also did a BCom specializing in law and with that in mind it has assisted me to get an opportunity in the insurance industry uh, as a claims manager. Well insurance is exciting because it's an industry where you know we, don't, we not only help people but we also uh, we, 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 we also find ways to, to assist the world as it continues to evolve.
With a single parent, my mom lost her job, and it was a really tough economic time for us. I unfortunately could not further my studies. Is it too late now? To <laughs> but Isita stepped in. What do you mean? Isita's purpose is to grow the pool of quality and sparse critical skills in the insurance industry. It's supporting the continuous growth of our country. So really, all you're saying is, all you got to do is believe. Absolutely. <laughs> In season's purpose is to touch lives, make a difference, and leave an enduring legacy. Tell me, bro, aren't you in the insurance industry as well? I don't know, Mr. Bieber, my whole family is an insurance. I have four sisters. They are not in insurance. Wow. My first sister, she's an engineer. Engineer? In insurance? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> Well, she, studied, she studied engineering and she realized that she doesn't really want to work in a construction site in blue overalls and gum boots. So she decided to join an insurance company that insures construction companies. Now she's an engineering consultant. Ah, I get your point. My second sister, she studied marketing. Marketing? Uh, insurance? What do you mean? <laughs> well, she is an advertising and branding manager. One of the top insurance companies in the country. That's wow. Hey, nice call. Is that Prada? Thank you. No, it's not Prada. It's my own time. Well, the insurance sector pays me so well that I can start a business inside. Wow, that's fantastic. Hey, Gerardo, what are you saying? Your other two sisters? Oh, my other sister, she's a lawyer and she drafts policies and contracts for an insurance company. See? And my last sister, She's a doctor. No worries. No worries. Doctor in insurance? What do you mean? <laughs> well, she studied medicine. After graduating, she realized she can't really study blood. And she doesn't really want to work all those long hours at night. So what she decided to do was to join an insurance company. And now she does medical reports for all the people who've been injured and are looking to submit a claim with an insurance company. Wow. Wow. Okay, I see your point. And of course, you are accountant in insurance, and that's why I touched all my money. Of course. <laughs> uh, before we get carried away, Alicia, here is Mr. Beaver's portfolio. I trust Hi. that it is in good hands. Absolutely. Fantastic. Before we go, uh, is there any way you can insure my voice? Sure, I walked that one direction. I'm sure I can insure. One direction? <laughs> Anyone know what one direction is? No. 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 We danced all night to the best song yeah. ever, and yeah. that's what makes you beautiful. Mr. Viva, we gotta go. We must go. We must go. Just go by Alicia. Really nice to meet you. I'm going to recite the poem by Marilyn Wilson. Our deepest fear. Our deepest fear is not the fact that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light that most frightens us, not our God. We ask ourselves, who are we to be powerful, beautiful, enlightened? Well, actually, who are you not to ask yourself? You are a child of the Most High God. Your plain small does the world no good. We were all meant to shine as children, and we are born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Thank you. Insured. So how much do I pay you as a man? For you, five friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying my watch is going to be insured that 
admits him, I lost like 2,000 hours. And then, not that one. And then, um, you, and then you say that from that day, it's in short lives. So then from that day, anything happens in the baby life. But if I paid you five grand on that day, and my watch breaks on that day, you're going to give me 2,000 and I only gave you five grand. Okay, we're the jury and in person in If you need sure your watch with us, we will look at the value and assign a specific premium for that value, or money, not five grand. But we will then collect your money, and yes, if you lose your watch, provided that the policy actually starts on that day, then you will get paid out after the necessary checks have been done. If I can just a bit clearer. Um, I think what you're asking is, I can repay you 2,000 and free watch, you only go as far as five grand green. But what you need to remember is if everyone ensures they, ensures they watch with us, and each of and each of you pay five grand. Insurance is about pulling a lot of money into one pool so that claims can be paid from that pool. So if we pull all the five grands, then we're able to pay your consumption. <laughs> Who votes for the second team? The winner of today's task is the 